Okay guys, I'm joined here with Sam Sheedy. Sam, firstly, how are you doing? I'm alright, thank you. Very well. So, stepping in now for this fight with Tommy Langford, how long did you have to step in and, and take over from Chris Eubank Jr? I'd say just over, what we got, three weeks, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I've known about this. So how confident are you with not, not as much preparation as what you might like for a fight that you no. still be able to deliver? Yeah, I, I, I work well under pressure. Um, diamonds are made under pressure. <laughs> but they are. I do. I work. I work a lot better under pressure. There's no time for. There's no time for mourning. There's no time for self doubt, which I'm not ever having on anyway. But it's, it's perfect for me. It's perfect time. I'm always in gym. I'm fit anyway, so I'm just ready to go to step it up a level. Um, and again, I don't. You can prepare for all fighters you want in the world, but I'm no basic fighter. Like I said before, I don't do I don't do anything by the book. I'm very unorthodox. I don't even know what I'm going to do myself until I get in there. But, but Tommy, he's a stand-up boxer. He's, um, he's a very good boxer, but he's made for me. Is there any, any like, maybe risks that Tommy carries that you need to be wearing? None. None. Nobody's got anything that can... Any risks? None. None. Is it maybe a, a chance that... He, he might have overlooked you a little bit because he'd have prepared for that Eubank Jr. fight. He might not have taken it as serious as what he would have done if he was agreed upon first before the junior fight was cancelled. Very much so, yeah. I think uh, if you're thinking about fighting a uh, fighter like Eubanks, it's going to bring massive coverage, which it is going to anyway. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders on it, a fantastic fighter. It's going to bring loads of coverage. Um, it'll give him loads of PR opportunities. It'll have, it'll have excelled him. If he, be, if he knocked um, Eubanks out, it'd have took him straight away up to world level. But now he's pulled out the deflation without even anything that he can do himself. The mental state it'll put him in um, is going to be a lot lower than what it would have been if he were, if he were still boxing. You might now he's boxing Sam Sheedy. Who's that? Who is he? He's not with anybody. He's not done anything. Um, but I'm a big risk. I'm a very big risk for him. I'm a big, I'm a big risk for anybody. That's why it took so long for me to get to where I am. I've been winning, 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 and people just avoiding me, taking diversions. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest mistakes. Uh, their careers probably taking this fight. What, what, what risks do you believe you possess that Tommy hasn't faced before? Just total unorthodoxness. Um, unorthodoxness. Um, I can bang. I wish I got a record. Don't say I can really bang that much. But look, what boxed in my last fight. I boxed a fighter called Andrew Robinson. Uh, he's gone 12 rounds with Buglione or 10 rounds with Buglione. And I, I hit him with everything. I, with everything I could. Um, but he, he's known for being able to take a shot. But anybody I hit with them shots, they usually, usually fall over. And Tommy's open for a lot of them shots. I've seen him, I've seen him in training, I've seen what he does. And he's very consistent with what he does, which is great. But what he does is perfect for me. Have you prepared any differently for the fight? No, I've done what I've always done. I go in there, I'm like a chameleon. I just adapt. When I go in there, I'm just going to adapt like a chameleon. I might have fight a bit like a chameleon at the time. But, I don't know. What's your prediction for the fight? How do you see it planning out? I'm going to win the fight, but anything could happen, as long as I'll turn up, I'll turn up, but whichever version of me turns up is going to win the fight, whether it's a knockout, whether it's a stoppage, whether it's points, but I'm going to win this fight. If you, well, if you do win, you know, what does this do for your career, where do, where do you go after this? Oh, it's, a fan, it's fantastic for my career, this, um, it's a British title, it's what everybody, every fight that starts out, uh, professional as a, as a British fight, you want to win the British title, English title, great, Commonwealth, great, great, fantastic, it's the great, your British title, it's a beautiful belt. Um, but it obviously puts me in good stead for the future, you know. Everybody, I've got something that everybody wants then, yeah. you know. They give, me, they give me a great opportunity here to take something that I'm going to take and then I'm going to be the boy with a title that everybody wants. Did you just get a few words on Mike Tower as well, obviously passed away last week. Yeah, um, it's very sad, very fa sad for the sport. We're in a very dangerous sport, I've known that a long time. Uh, recently a lot more of this stuff seems to be happening but it's a risk we're willing to, it's a risk we're willing to take and um, I'm very sorry for what's happened to Mike Tall. How much of a shame is it that it's taken something as tragic as this to happen for everyone just to realise how much you guys are putting on the line? It's, it's very sad but we don't come into it to for people to feel sorry for us or whatever. We're gladiators, we're fighters at the end of the day so we don't come into it for people to go oh, bloody taking this risk but it, it is nice that people are realising how much we're actually giving in this sport, you know, we're putting his lives on the line every time we get in that ring. Um, so yeah, it is, a, it is a bit of a shame. And like I said, rest in peace, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.